I'm Derek Bond and I'm the director of Microcosm. My name's Philip McGinley and I'm playing Alex. My name's Matt Hartley and I'm the writer of Microcosm. I started writing Microcosm a few years ago uh, when I got involved in a site confrontation with a group of kids outside my flat and I just became a little bit concerned about the fact that they knew where they knew where I lived and and I just sort of imagined going on a journey that um, what could be the worst case scenario. It's a play that starts off as being about how you can't choose your neighbours and then very slowly becomes uh, a sort of uh, Alfred Hitchcock type thriller uh, something like The Birds or Rear Window with a sort of mounting tension which Matt very skillfully dials up throughout the play matching that with a very uh, wry sense of humour too. I started writing it in 2009 and since then the play has gone through various drafts. It's been here, there, nearly going on at various venues and Derek and I have been working towards this production for a long time and so we're delighted that we, along with Soho Theatre, can finally bring it to an audience. I'm a, I'm, I'm a sadist when it comes to doing plays that mean you can't leave the stage for an hour and a half because they're obviously hugely challenging but um, particularly with the play that it's it is something I've thought about the fact that you know you can buy a house in London and pay you know be pay this huge ransom and be shackled to it for the rest of your your life with a mortgage and you just have no idea you know what your neighbours are like really and what's going to happen at night time there or, you know you could, you could just be, you could end up in this horrible hell and, you know, that's what starts to happen in Microcosm. So we've got a fantastic cast who are on board. We've got Philip McGinley, who's playing Alex. His girlfriend is played by Jenny Rainsford. John Lightbody is playing the neighbour, Philip. And we've also got Chris Brandon, who's playing the police officer. So we've got a brilliant script, a brilliant cast, a wonderful venue. It's going to be a really exciting production. Well, this is my first prolonged run of a play in London, of a play that I'm very proud of, a play that has sort of charted, I think, my writing career, and to see it finally come to the stage in a venue that is supportive and engaged with new work is a, it's a huge moment in my career. Of course, the difficult thing with plays such as this is finance. It's always difficult to try and raise money. We're, we're very lucky that we've been able to get a grant from the Arts Council, which has made the whole event possible. But we really need your help to be able to make it a reality. So please, using the links below, do help us to bring this brilliant, brilliant play to the stage. Anything that you can give will make a huge difference to us. Mm -hmm.